Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your mid-March. So is I feel this energy where there is going to be luck in the household environment. Okay, so um, this can play out in a few ways. Um, I feel that you know you're going to get some. For those of you with like grown children, I feel you're going to get a lot of support coming through from them. Monetary support, emotional support, physical support. I feel like um, there's a lot of luck when it concerns the household or people that you consider to be your your um, your family unit okay there's a lot of um, comfort coming through and I feel like um, so if it's like something that you do ritualistically for spring cleaning but I feel like um, you it's important for you to try to dust them off and try to um, incorporate more sunlight and you know just fresh air in your household environment it's going to rejuvenate your vibe and it's going to um, just allow a lot better energy to clean energy and you know fresh air to come into your house okay so that's something that you need to do um, I feel like waiting on communication possibly from somebody far away I definitely feel as well there is a, a burst of hopeful energy coming through, so not to worry, okay? Um, things will be okay, Sagittarius. Things will be okay. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay. So I feel almost like in the past, we have had a lot of struggles. There's a lot of struggles. So... Let me just get the rest of the other cards coming out. You've got the star card, so definitely some healing coming through. I feel that that situation is coming to an end. And um, I feel as well that um, I want you to just uh, think about it like this, especially if it's like somebody, a family member. I feel harmony being brought back into the household. So whatever conflict that you've had in the past it is ending okay because um external to your environment is basically the end to conflict card and as a result of it i feel like there's going to be a lot more stability um to be had in your household unit so first of all i see cards that represent uh, a lot of struggles in the past you have the ten of swords in the past position which is basically you know the worst of it is over you can breathe again so this is like the the exhale card um, I also feel like a lot of information has been revealed to you within the past few months where you are going to have to make some very, very strong, clear decisions about the state of either your marriage or the, the state of your household environment, where you're going to live if you still want to be in the current marriage that you're in because what I'm feeling is uh, we do have the four of wands in the reverse in the outcome so I feel like a lot of information came to light with the ace of swords the ace of swords also indicates a decision that one person makes in order to move themselves forward in a positive light but it's also a, a decision that is made unilaterally meaning it doesn't concern another person so it's just you making this decision or somebody making a decision for you where it's it's not up for debate okay so something has been unilaterally made and it's moving you along to a better situation for a lot of you you might just be you know be scoping out a new house looking researching into a new property a new house situation and um, I feel as well for a lot of you um, for a lot of you, you're reassessing, you know, a major relationship, significant relationship, either like family relationship or a significant love relationship in your life to see whether or not you can take it to the next level or to see whether or not it is still um, up to par with what your expectations are. Okay, so I feel that definitely some major shifts, some maneuvering that is going to re be required of you coming through for the next few months. Um, so in the past, there was a lot of struggle, which brings us to this point with the Three of Swords in the reverse position. I mean, if this card is going to fall out, it's best in the reverse. So um, I feel like for a lot of you, the healing process has, um, has been somewhat tenuous. It has been difficult, but I feel like you're emerging... 
you're coming into March with a lot of optimism, with a lot of hopeful energy, where you know there are things that you have to let go because it's not going anywhere. So you have to, you have no choice. You have to let it go. Because like I said, I feel like a decision was made unilaterally. It wasn't up for debate. And so you're trying to move forward. What is preventing you from moving forward is communication from the external environment, okay? So you have the Eight of Wands here. This is usually a love-focused type of communication where communication is coming from you very, very swiftly. You are going to have to sift through fact from fiction because I feel like a lot of you, you're in a very, very unhappy, especially if it's like a dating situation or a romantic encounter. You're in a very unhappy uh, situation right now. You have made up a, your mind that, you know, I'm going to let it go and there's communication which is blocking you from actively moving on. You might have broken up in the past and now, you know, you are trying to move on with your life. Some healing has started. A decision has been made in your mind. There's communication blocking you coming in from your, whoever it is that you're dealing with. And you know the relationship is really not going anywhere, but I feel like you might be in danger of stepping back into it because we do have the fool in the reverse, which indicates doing the same things over and over again and expecting different results so in your immediate future I do feel we have the ten of cups as well which is it's not working out you've been through it so break out of this cycle scope out new territory scope out new people and ally yourself with new things because this situation seems very cyclical and it's really not going anywhere okay so um, move forward. The advice here is the star. So something is going to cross your path that will allow some type of breakthrough for you to move forward. I feel like you're just like, I'm tired of the old. I'm blocking it out. I'm scoping out new people, new territory. A lot of you might even be, you know, starting the dating process again and, and scoping out your potential candidates just to make sure they're really single like they say they, like they claim, okay? So a lot of you are doing a little bit more investigation into people before you get involved with them, which is great. This is great. Just um, don't let this um, obsession with, um, uh, you know, like, like, like that, if you were to do a hashtag stalker status, just don't let it overwhelm the experience, okay? So just know, give people the benefit of the doubt. Um, and also, you know, just live life a little bit more, just ease up a little bit, ease up a little bit. Because Sagittarius, when you like something, you can be very, very intense, okay? So just um, ease up a little bit on that. And don't of you are moving into a very optimistic, very good, phase in your life okay so I feel like this is also the wish card this is also the the card that denotes to me uh, things are starting to stabilize for you you're starting to feel comfortable in your own skin again a lot of healing for those of you who might have dealt with like health situations a lot of uh, healing is starting to take place and you're feeling really really good mobile agile and um, things are looking up for for a lot of you I also feel as well that um, there's just uh, this overwhelming sense of optimism showing up in your life. Um, things might not come the way that you want in March, but I feel like right around the corner, because you're leaving things, old things behind, old energies behind, you're changing your mindset and you're choosing not to get yourself stuck in this environment. A lot of you might still be here trying to find that outlet, that way out. And I just want to say that, you know, Changing your life doesn't mean the universe is going to step in and bring new things for you. You have to take those steps and mentally, emotionally, physically step out of this phase before the universe can shuffle things around to move you and to bring other positive things into your path. So I hope that makes sense. It's not a, about, you know, um, for example... You have, um, you're in a bad relationship and you're just like, okay, I'm going to try online dating while I'm still in this relationship just to see what's out there, what's around the corner. It doesn't work like that. You can't jump from one thing immediately to the next. You need to actively get over this one thing before things will shuffle together and, you know, before things will start coming together. So there is going to be like a, a monthly gap before things will propel forward, before new opportunities to come in. And that's why I always try to advise clients, leave this behind. It's going to take you some time to mourn it before new things can cross your paths, okay? 
So that's what I'm, I'm getting here. A lot of you are kind of like jumping from one thing, hoping to immediate land, immediately land into the next, but life and energy doesn't work that way. There has to be some um, subsiding of old energies before new energies can happen for you, okay? So external to your environment here, we do have the five of uh, swords in the reverse. This is a situation where I feel for a lot of you, you were in a, uh, an environment where it tested your sense of uh, integrity. Um, this card is basically in the upright position. It's like a, a victory at somebody else's expense. In the reverse position, it's one of the best cards in the deck because it denotes doing the honorable thing, walking away from a situation because you are trying to maintain your integrity, okay? It has nothing to do with dignity. It's mainly your own personal sense of moral compass, not engaging yourself in a situation, even though you are getting benefits out of it because you know that somebody else is uh, suffering as a result of it. So this is the Saturnian lesson. You have Saturn transiting your sun right now for a lot of Sagittarius, for Sagittarius rising and moon signs as well. Sagittarius deals with higher truths. It deals with like, um, it, it, I, I feel like Sagittarians are really, really uh, honest people. And, um, you know, you're ruled by the planet Jupiter, which deals with religious, um, philosophical expansion and belief system. And you, you are, you have a very strong, uh, moral compass and I feel that this is what Saturn is trying to bring into your life and to try to let you learn and it might have been a very difficult process but I feel like for those of you who have been in a situation such as if you've been you know benefiting at somebody's expense and um, you knew it wasn't it, it wasn't like to I don't hurt other people whereas for a lot of you you might be on the receiving end and you're, you're figuring out that, you know, somebody else is benefiting at my expense. So I'm going to remove myself from this situation and not be used and not be abused anymore. So I feel like that Saturn energy, that's what it was trying to tell you. And that's what it was trying to push you forward and to, to take ownership of your life, to follow your own sense of moral compass. The healing is taking place for this month for you to come to terms with this lesson, for you to realize that um, karma has to be balanced one way or than the other, okay? Sometimes we don't see the immediate ramifications of karmic actions or karma coming back to roost, but a lot of the times we know it's going to come back and when it comes back, it's not always pleasant. So a lot of you are refusing to get yourself or to continue to put yourselves in situation that was bad for you because you, you are understanding that, you know, action and reaction, you don't have control over what other people are doing, but you do have control over your own perception of truth and what is right so that you can move yourself out of this negative space in terms of um, and proceed ahead with something that is more righteous, that is more um, of a moral high ground. So it's a really beautiful energy, Sagittarius. So I feel like a lot of you are on the right track as well and you're moving on in a very positive direction, okay? Your hopes and fears here, we do have the Emperor, which is basically divine protection as well. Things are going to be blocked out of your life that have not been good for you. Once, I feel like a lot of you are still here, so you want to get yourself here so that you can get some divine protection, okay? Whatever that has been troubling you or people that have not been good for you or circumstances that were not in your favor, you are going to be basically weaned out of it. And once you decide to sever those ties, once you decide to remove yourself from this troublesome environment, they're going to be blocked out of your life for good, okay? Which is really good because a lot of the times people um, um, say that, you know, they can't, like, get rid of an ex. They can't, like, get rid of financial difficulties and things like that. It all requires, like, a, a mindset, a shift in your paradigm, a shift in the way that you're looking at how much control you have over your life overall. Once you come to terms with the fact that we have full control, and, um, you know, like being stuck 
is really an illusion. Once we come into that mindset, then that's when the epiphany happens. That's when things start shifting for you energetically to allow the universe to intervene and to help you, okay? So if you have actively left a very troublesome relationship, they're going to be blocked out of your life, okay? So things will start to subside. And then in the process of subsiding, you need it to take the time off to heal. And then the universe will bring in new opportunities for you. So they will be around the corner. And I do feel like sometime in um, April, May, especially the summer months, they're going to be very, very beneficial. Okay. A lot of you in the outcome position here are coming to a, a place where you're just like, okay, all of those um, blockages, all of those things were actually mental energies. They're just fears and anxieties that I was deluding myself into believing they were real. And now I'm stepping into my own power. I'm reclaiming my own territory. And I'm coming into a stronger sense of self, okay? So all those swords are falling away and you're basically, you, you have the green light to proceed ahead full speed without anybody um, holding you back, okay? What's coming through as well is a lot of you are looking for new places to dwell. A lot of you are coming into realization, for example, if you've been um, eyeing somebody if you have, you know, the hots for somebody, if you've been eyeing somebody, you might realize that um, they're, you, you might, you might realize that they have like entanglements with another person. You might realize that, oh, maybe they're married, maybe they're not going to leave. So you're coming into this space where I'm not going to wait around for this situation to end. I'm just going to move forward. A lot of you might be interested in somebody and you're not really sure of their marital status and you're doing some fact checking or you're doing some research just to find out if they're legitimate. Okay. But the overall process here, but I feel like this is like the first emergence or the first major lesson coming through with that Saturnian energy where it, where it is forcing us to you know snap out of our childhood um, fantasies and face up to the reality it is forcing us to be self-reliant more than anything because we can't be um, stable emotionally um, um, emotionally stable people unless we are ourselves self-reliant, okay? So I feel like for the next few months, the universe really wants you to focus on your financial foundation. This is possibly moving into a home, new home environment, making it so that it is yours, so that you feel comfortable in your home environment. So it's telling you to stabilize your foundation, and that can be your monetary financial foundation, or at least find an environment, a home environment, where you feel at home. So it's a process of stabilizing your foundation so that things can, good things can start coming in for you, okay? So if you've been living in a house, um, you, I, I feel like um, a lot of you need to start doing the spring cleaning. A lot of you need to declutter your space. A lot of you need to, like, um, if your house is not, you're not happy there, find something else. Okay, there's like movements and travel happening for you as well. Take up those travel opportunities. Don't be afraid. Okay, so overall, it is going to be a really, really positive um, next two weeks. I feel like the reading is overwhelmingly positive for you. So I hope that for those of you still stuck in this space here, that you can move yourself forward. Okay, I do wish you the best, Sagittarius.